Zero dollars? Twenty-two hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars a month in traffic? Two thousand dollars worth of traffic? Eighty thousand dollar asking price? Zero dollars on Estebot? What the heck is going on here? The day was August 8th. 2022 with reported domain sales of over three hundred and twenty three thousand dollars and that is when i noticed something extremely interesting in business and side hustles there's one thing that you need to know in any equation and that is something guaranteed so that you can reverse engineer everything and start making a profit in this example, our constant is the domain sale, which went for $101,000. And yeah, from what I could find, the guy bought the domain for a whopping $15 or less. Wait a minute, he turned 15 bucks into 101 grand by following a simple formula? That's right, N plus BL plus the secret magic formula equals the domain value. And if done correctly, you can turn a simple little investment into thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, in order to figure this out so you can actually make money, what we gotta do is go through these 300 domain sales to figure out what's selling, why, and how we can buy and sell these for a massive profit. So we're gonna have to do a little investigating. Let's go to the backyard office and check these out. All right, let's get to it. In order to make this work, we need to understand why some of these domains are going for huge amounts of money and some aren't. And also, we need to figure out why tools like the GoDaddy appraisal tool and Estebot are giving us crazy figures that aren't even making sense. They are literally saying this is worth $0 or $22.29 when we know for a fact this thing sold for over $100,000 just a couple weeks ago. And just so you know that I'm on the level here, you can see where I bought over $100,000 worth of domains in the last few months alone. Yep, that's right. I actually do this stuff for a living. But it's not the ones that I bought we're going over today. We're gonna look at the ones I didn't win. Wait, what? Why? Well, if we look at the ones I didn't win, we can get an objective view of who's out there buying these, what they're selling for, and what they're doing with them after they buy them. So if you're interested in making money online using this method, watch this entire video at least one time all the way through because I guarantee you're gonna get more information than some paid courses out there. All right, so here's some Excel files we'll be going over in just a minute where I did extensive research on the domains that I didn't win going back to about March, I think it was. We got some in June, some in March, everything like that. Now, I wanna pay close attention to this one here, icobench.com. This is a very interesting site because what I can find from the Wayback Machine is that this domain was registered in about 2017, and that's when it started to come online and get built and everything like that. Now, I couldn't find any information as to when this sold in the first place, other than Estebot showing it was registered in 2017, which is probably pretty safe to say this was the first time this domain came on the market. And we could see the only sale since the time it was registered for $8 or $15 or whatever it was, was the sale a couple weeks ago for $101,000. Now, why is this domain worth the money if the tools are saying it's worth between zero and $2,200. Well, let's take a look over here at the Ahrefs overview for this domain. First of all, I note that this domain is about cryptocurrency, which is worth a lot of money. I could see that it has a URL rating of 57 and a domain rating of 72, which is exceptionally high. And that's all just fancy talk for how many related backlinks does it have. What we're gonna do is look at the backlinks and see if they're relevant to the niche market that this site's in. So we can see here, we have coin, point pay, different blockchain. These are all very relevant backlinks to what the domain is about. And you can see there's like 4,000 pages of them. We can also see 
it has three. We can also see it has almost 4,000 organic keywords ranking right now and 2,000 of them dropped, which means this thing had tons of keywords driving tons of traffic. And again, it's all about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and things like that. And according to SimilarWeb.com, this site is getting over 60,000 visitors a month. And again, it's in the crypto market, which is sky high profits. So if we go back to our equation over there, we can see N equals the actual domain name. What niche is the site in? What kind of topic? And what is the value of the niche? Obviously, a site about funny cat memes isn't worth as much as a site about mortgages. Next, we have backlinks, or BL. This is how many backlinks the site has pointing in that are niche specific. Then we have the secret magic formula, which for me is the organic keywords. How many keywords does this rank for right now? And can I get that traffic as soon as I take this site over? So if I took this site over right now, I would be ranking for the word Plancion, which is a crypto. We can see here, the site is ranking right down here. That is worth money. Let's get to the next part. And that is where we're gonna come up with our domain value. Is this making sense? If not, you're probably gonna wanna watch this video several times. And this is where it's gonna get really interesting. You see, what I did is I took all the domain auctions that I didn't win, some of them because I forgot I was bidding on them, others because they went too high in price for me to justify, and whatever reason. So there's over 270 domains on this list. We can see, according to the columns over here, what the domain name was, how much the domain ended up selling for, the opening bid, when it sold, and just yesterday, I spent all day figuring out what is actually on the sites now. This is important. Of the 277 domain names that I looked at, over 69 were registered by a company called Huge Domains. Huge Domains is a reseller of domain names. They buy them at auction and resell them over and over and over and make tons of money. Yeah, they're one of the biggest in the industry. And based on this list here, one out of every four domain names I looked at was purchased by huge domains. Like this one over here, perfectmagic.com, that they bought for $398 and are selling it now on their website for almost 10 grand. But wait, here's one. They bought for $135, they're selling for over $10,000. Why would one they paid less for be worth more? We'll talk about that in just a minute. We could also see that 29 of the domains actually have a site in progress. 10 of them aren't even resolving. One of them was actually my student who's out there getting traffic. Hey, good job, man. Two of them were listed on Squad Help. 27 had GoDaddy parking. 24 of them were linking to spams and virus stuff, one of them being sold on dan.com, seven of them are redirecting to CPA affiliate offers. So what exactly did I learn by going over all these domains? Well, first of all, what you need to remember is that when buying domains at auction, you're only dealing with a small group of people who are buying domains at auction. That's not to say what the actual domain value is worth on the open market. For example, to the auction people, that domain for the ICO bench for the crypto stuff was worth $100,000 at that one point in time. However, if they were to resell it as a crypto money-making site as a business, they might have gotten a lot more money. I'm not sure, but you got to do the research. Now, when we look at this, we need to understand why these domains go for what they go for. Just yesterday, I was bidding on this domain, and I was willing to go to about, I think my bid was at $2,000, and that's as high as I wanted to go, and this guy wasn't budging. Now, the reason I liked this domain was because it had lots and lots of backlinks to it. So, when we're looking at this, we can see it's got backlinks, and it's got lots of rankings for different things about Florida. So, what I'm thinking is I can make a Florida travel site, which would be pretty valuable, and this domain would be perfect to build that site on. Actually, it turns out that this site was a TV show that used to be on different TV networks 
four different things you can do in Florida. It also has some kind of YouTube associated with it and all kinds of other stuff. So, pretty interesting, and I don't think it was a trademark, which is good, because we want to stay away from trademark stuff. That's just a gray area that we don't want to touch with a 10-foot pole. So, we could see here that, was this domain worth $2,000? Yeah, it probably was. However, I knew, at the end of the day, I probably wasn't going to make a Florida travel site because I don't have that much time on my hands. But, to the right person, this can be worth a lot of money. Now, could I have bought it for $2,000 or $3,000 or $4,000 and then flipped it for more? Yeah, I probably could have. However, how to do Florida, that's a pretty specific one, and it's kind of risky. We could see here, OneStopArchery.com sold for $320, and this one was actually pretty good. What I'm looking at is, is there something tied to this niche, tied to this domain, that I can make money with? We can see this is all about hunting and archery and bow hunting and different things like that, which is worth quite a bit of money. Someone running an archery site can make a lot of cash. We can also see some kind of ClickBank product here, a religious site, some weird ones, some that went for $4,000 or more. And I was actually bidding on this one till I found out it did have a trademark associated with it, but it was a pretty good site about compression gear and the problem I had was for $4,000, it only had a position of 81 on a keyword with 70 searches a month. Yeah, that's not worth much to me at all. And you could see, none of the rankings were that good. And for that reason, I'm out. And if you're looking for a quick way to look at these at a glance, you can actually go to the Ahrefs Batch Analysis copy and paste up to 200 domains, click on Analyze, and then sort them by keywords. Then I could just open these in a new tab and see exactly what these domains are about. This looks like a bunch of random junk. Next, again, pretty random, not much I can use here. More random stuff. But wait, check this out. This one is all specific to anxiety, self-worth quotes, affirmations, and all kinds of self-help stuff that makes tons of money. And we could see that domain went for only 360 bucks. And it happens to be one of my students. Hey, that's pretty cool. So we could see that valuing domains is very, very important. And if you can learn how to have a trained eye, you can make lots of money. Let's take a look at some others and look at some of the data here. We could see that this entire list had over $100,000 worth of domains on it. And the average sale was only $370. So the question is, what is the actual name worth what is the nature of the site and the backlinks and rankings, and what can we do with it? Now, there's some people out there that are listing their domains on Squad Help, like Funbeam or Swimtails, which are kind of random domains, and they're hoping that someone likes the idea and wants to call their company Funbeam or Swimtails or whatever it is. And this guy bought this site for $184. He's trying to flip it for $19,000 or close to it. This guy bought one for $333. He's trying to flip it for $4,500. Now, this is a different method where we're going into buying cute domains and hoping that they sell for more. Lots of people do this. Personally, for me, I don't want to have $100,000 worth of domain names tied up hoping that they sell. That's just not my business model. What I'd rather do is find the ones that actually have the rankings that are in tight, select categories that I could build a site on if I want to. Again, my end goal is to build a site up. Like the Ico Bench, they built a site up on the site and you're ready to go and now the guy bought it for a ton of money and he's doing the exact same thing. He's building it up and making money in that market. And we could do this whether we're going for tech sites or how to do Florida or fishing tools or anxiety or whatever it is, we can go out there and build these sites in a really cool way or even flip them for a profit, which is exactly what some of these big companies are doing. We could see here the list of the different ones bought by the big company. They spent over $13,000. The average price was $200.81. The average price they're selling them for is $3,316 for a whopping grand total of $222,000. That's like 209 grand in straight profit. But the question is, are they actually gonna sell for this? 
And can you afford to sit on $13,000 till they end up selling? Most of us probably can't. Which is why using the method that I'm teaching here works like crazy. A couple weeks ago, you guys saw me buy the domain Aniston Septic. AnistonSeptic.com. This domain ranks number one for septic tank service, Aniston, Alabama, Aniston Septic, all kinds of different keywords related to Aniston Septic companies. I bought this domain back in March for $95. And the question I have is with all the septic tank companies bidding on traffic for these keywords, what are the odds I can get my $95 back? And the answer, of course, your results not typical, implied, or guaranteed, is 100%. And if you look at some of the domains at the top of the list, the ones that I paid the most for, you could see here's one about Bitcoin, has rankings and traffic for the word Bitminer, which is a high profit market. Or this one I bought just a couple days ago, Bunny Supply Co., which actually ranks for all different types of things for rabbits and bunny backpacks and rabbit accessories and pet bunny supplies and on and on we go. And my thinking is this would be great for affiliate marketing or drop shipping. This is a site that I could build up, make some money with and later down the road sell it for 10, 20, maybe even 50 times what I paid for it. Or this one here, Sad Light, which links to a light for depression chairworkouts.com, which I already sold to one of my students, and he's ranking for the word chair workouts, which gets tons and tons of traffic. Yep, there he is right there, number two. And the list goes on and on. Here's one I found for salary data, which is all about different careers and how much money they make. Now the rankings weren't great, but the traffic and backlinks were there, which is what made this one a no-brainer. And at $499, yeah, I can turn that around for a big profit. And if you want to get the domain lists from this training, check out DomainToolbar.com. And if you want to learn more about this method, check out the links in the description for three videos on how I buy and sell domains for a profit.